this is it. Before I started, I was gonna like write down a script and read off of that, but then I said, eh, it's probably better just to speak from the heart. These are really loud. I'll be right back. There we go, I think that's better. For those of you who don't immediately recognize me, my name is Jacob Einstein and I am a member of the Order of Speedway DMLA. They've been in DMLA for just over a year now. Yeah, actually, just over a year. Wow, it's been that long? I don't know, it's been a blast. I love DMLA to bits. We get to go out and make new friends and meet new people, gain new experiences and learn a bunch of new things and it's just a blast and I love being a part of it and I love having the honor and the privilege to be a part of it. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Today, I am going to talk about our Real Life for Life team. Now, Speedway Team LA has participated in Real Life for Life in the past, but they've mostly just piggybacked off of the Lodge and they didn't really have their own team themselves and they didn't really like bring it up to its full potential. So this year, what we're doing differently is I'm taking charge as the team leader or the chairman of the advisory or whatever the fancy name is. I'm the face of the project and I'm the one who makes the phone calls and does the planning for everything. What we're doing differently this year is we are making our own team and we're setting our own goal and we're jumping in with both feet and making this a new way for Speedway Demolay to reach out into the community. We do a lot to reach out into the community and help be a part of things, you know. Obviously, Relay for Life this year. Um, actually, the way I joined Demolay was they hosted an essay contest from the junior high or they hosted the award ceremony for the essay contest from the junior high and when I won that contest and I went to the lodge for the award ceremony the guys there were absolutely great I mean they welcomed me I felt like a friend just the minute I walked in and it was great that's when I was introduced to Demolay and now I'm in it and making this video for Speedway Demolay's Real Life for Life so full circle the way the way this is different from things we've done in the past is this is something that we get to put a lot of time and effort into because it's such a great cause and it's such an awesome thing to do. We're just proud to be able to be a part of it. Why this is, you know, a step above, you know, we, we've done fundraisers in the past and we've supported many causes and we've reached out to the community in so many ways. but. We've never really done what we're doing for Relay for Life before where I'm sitting down and making this video for you guys to watch with all the information and all that jazz in it and we're we're having meetings, we're attending fundraising opportunities and we're planning so much and going so into depth with this. Why all the effort? It's because Relay for Life is a really noble cause and it's something just wonderful to be able to be a part of. The other thing that makes Really for Life a little bit more unique is that, unfortunately, cancer has probably affected everyone in some close-knit way. You know, I'm sure if you think about it right now, unfortunately, there's some way you relate almost directly to cancer, whether you've had cancer or a loved one has had cancer or a relative of a friend has had cancer or just anything I'm unfortunately and I hate I keep saying unfortunately but it connects with everyone and it affects everyone and it's not a good effect because frankly it's cancer and for the people who have to go through cancer treatments and have to live and deal with living with cancer it sucks they have to go through hell and sometimes it's really sad but they don't get to see the other end of their battle and it's it's just not good so it affects so many people and it's just such such a great cause to reach out to my oldest brother, Ben, had cancer when he was 10. That rhymed. He had cancer when he was 10. He's 18 now, he's a survivor. He's 10 years a survivor, and he's happy and doing completely well, perfectly normal, and well, I wouldn't quite call him normal, but like, from a health standard, he's completely fine. But being only being 10 and having to go through all the treatments and all the 
pain and all the inconveniences and it just so much ends up stacking onto itself. It sucks and no one should ever have to go through that. It's why Really For Life is such an important thing for Speedway Demolay to reach out to. It's because no one should have to go through what people are going through every day. And I mean, it's more than just 10 year olds, it's people of all ages. It's infants and elderly people and middle-aged men and women and there's so many different kinds of cancer and it all just sucks. Cancer sucks. I've seen that on t-shirts and signs everywhere and it's true. There's just, there's no simpler words to put it in aside from cancer sucks. And that's why Speedway Demolay really wants this to be a big thing that we get to do is because it's just, it sucks. And every year, the American Cancer Society grows closer and closer to eradicating cancer and reaching an end to it, reaching a cure, and hopefully one day, cancer won't be an issue for anyone, anywhere, anymore, ever, and that is what we have to look forward to going into Relay for Life and just making our own impact. So I guess the segue from there is going into what we're doing such a smooth transition. What we initially wanted to do was raise a big chunk of our funds with just strict donations. What we want is to, and we're still striving for this, we haven't reached this much of our goal yet, but we're definitely on the right track. We wanted to have 40 people on our team, and that's, you know, that's the youth in Speedway DMLA and the advisors and any survivors they directly know or parents who want to help out whoever, just 40 members onto our team. And then we would want each of those members to raise at least $100 in donations, which at first sounded like a lot, and I thought, you know, oh, $100 of donations, that's so much. But in the, the first week of me creating my account and joining our team, I raised over, like, I think I raised $212 within the first week or two. And that's insane, and that's when I realized $100 is like nothing in donations because the because it's such a worthy cause. People are more than willing to donate for it. So it our goal sort of became more within reach as we kind of kept as we kept going through this. So I personally have raised $625 so far in just donations. So it's really not difficult. So that's going to be a big chunk of our goal. And our goal is $5,000 for this year, which seems like a huge amount of money for our first time going in, but believe me, it's far from impossible. The other way we wanted to help raise money for Really For Life was, was we wanted to go, we wanted to have a, a few good fundraisers, a few really solid ones to bring it all home and bring in the rest of what we don't have yet. And while, while we haven't done any of those yet, we are, we have almost all the planning done and now it's just the sake, now it's just the fact of actually initiating them and getting into it. One of the first things we decided we wanted to do was have a dinner of sorts. More than likely it's gonna end up being a spaghetti dinner, but where we just have people come in and pay money and then they get all the food they want and it'll be awesome and spaghetti's great. It'll be a grand old time. Another thing that we have kind of in the works is um, a yard sale. Being spring and being the ideal time for yard sales, people are going out hunting for yard sales and all that. It's a more than perfect time to have a yard sale and put 100% of the proceeds for Really For Life for our team. And so what we do that what we would do there is just have parents of other boys, you know, donate some things they have lying around that they don't want anymore that they're willing to sell. And then we'd spend a weekend out in the lot of by the lodge and have our huge yard sale and then anything we don't sell we can give forward to like we you know we can donate it to Goodwill or just give it somewhere where it'll be used and not sitting collecting dust anymore something to give it meaning and give it purpose again. The other thing we had planned was the biggest one of them all was not my idea but was actually Patrick Elmore's idea and I think it's complete genius. It's it's such a great idea. We wanted to do a 
like a dance the night before the race. You know, being in Speedway and when there's the Indy 500, it's a huge thing. It's kind of a big deal, you know, global event. Yeah. We wanted to have a dance before the night, be, the night before the race. And what we would do for that is we would charge $20 entry fee, and then we would have, and we're in the process of reaching out to them, but we would like to have, we'd want White Castle to kind of sponsor the event, and we'd put their company logo on the t-shirt and all that fun stuff, but what we would want them to do is supply like three or five hundred White Castles for the evening, and then when you, and we would also supply, so White Castle provides the food, and then Speedway de Malay would make a t-shirt specifically for that night and we would give that out and that would be included in the $20 entry fee. You'd get all the food and refreshments you want and a free t-shirt and if it were up to me we'd pass out glow sticks because glow sticks are fun. And then there'd be music and dancing and it'd be a heck of a time. If we could get like a hundred people there and they all pay the entry fee and we all have a great time, it'd be an excellent way both to have a bunch of fun but also raise awareness and raise some money for, once again, Relay for Life. Which, actually I should have done this a while back, but what is Relay for Life? Is, um, I'm sure if you're watching this, you already have a good clue, but just for the sake of I'm going to explain it. When you break down the name, Relay for Life, it's an event sponsored, I believe it's globally, from, it's an event held by the American Cancer Society all over the world and it's a 24-hour event and what you do is a bunch of teams sign up like Speedway DMLA's Relay for Life and the idea the relay part of it is where you have one person from your team at least one person from your team walking the track all 24 hours not the same one person obviously that would be terrible but you would have at least one person from your team at some point always on the track from 9 a.m. the first from 9 a.m. the first day to 9 a.m. the second day and that's the relay portion of it and then for life is why we're going through all these fundraisers and all the effort to collect all these donations and raise all this money is is to give as much forward to the American Cancer Society so they can do everything within their power to completely eliminate cancer and that again brings it down brings me back to why it's such a great cause is it affects so many people and I've been through all this already I know but I can't say it enough how much it sucks and how much needs to be done and how close we actually are to the end of this it's it's insane just what we can do and how each little impact helps so much and the fact that we're getting closer and closer with each year it just it's something to look forward to it really is and it makes all the effort of all that we're doing completely and totally worth it so my last little thing I want to rant about I know I've been going on for quite a long time now but the last thing I want to talk about is what happens when we reach our goal what Obviously $5,000 is a huge amount of money and it's enough of a reward to just know that we're helping this cause. But it also helps to put a little bit of like, you know, a personal reward at the end of it. So what I decided to do is, if or when we reach our $5,000 goal, I'm going to go to the hair salon, get my hair bleached, and then dyed the color of the, their choice, all our team members. Whatever color the guys choose is the color I am ruining my hair with. But in the end, you know, my hair is a small price to pay for an entire $5,000 going towards Relay for Life and going towards the end of cancer. My hair just seems like nothing compared to helping end the fight against cancer. And that's where I think I'm going to leave this video. Thank you for your time and listening and all of that. I know I rambled a lot. I didn't really have a plan for this. I just kind of went, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I've never done this sort of thing before, but raising any and all awareness we can just helps out so much. So this is the first step to hopefully what will be a great journey for us in helping end, fight, end, end the fight towards cancer. And 
maybe one day we'll be able to, I don't know, look back and, I don't know, maybe we'll be able to watch this video once cancer's been completely be ridden of and it'll just, it'll all have been worth it. Again, thank you so much for your time. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Goodbye.